weekend. My wife is better suited for the workplace. It really is a growing role reversal at home. Next, dads talk about the challenges and expectations of staying home with the kids. Mr. Mom, it is the new work title for a lot of men these days. The number of working moms who bring home the only paycheck for the family rose to an all-time high last year, according to the Census Bureau, making dad the primary caregiver at home. Just like you thought. It's not unusual to see a parade of strollers rolling through the Oregon Zoo. Okay, we have snacks that we're going to have as soon as we go inside. But this isn't a mommy's playgroup. It's an online Yahoo group for stay-at-home dads, and it's become quite popular. Uh, it's been around just under two years, and we're up over 220 dads signed up on the list. Um, I, I figured that there were dads out there who needed something like that, but I never dreamed that it would get as big as it did, as quickly as it did. Regardless of the reason. My wife, uh, she works full time. I'm a student. I didn't particularly care for my job and she really loved hers. My wife is better suited for the workplace and I'm better suited for the home. More and more dads are staying at home. According to the latest census numbers nationwide, there were 158,000 stay at home dads last year. It may be less than 1% of married couples, but the number grows every year. Do you see some ducks? It used to be the thought of stay at home dad brought visions of the popular 80s movie, Mr. Mom. Where's Bobby keep the extra diapers? But don't say that to these dads. Mr. Mom does give us a little bit of a bad rap, though, because the thing about him was, old Michael Keaton, was that he wasn't a happy stay-at-home dad. And, and our big challenge really is just to stay happy. David Platt, an active member of the dads group, spends his days taking care of his two-year-old, May Lynn. With our careers, it made a lot more sense for me to be the one to do it. I did a lot of freelance work. It was easy for me to just stop. And uh, we wanted somebody to be at home full time, and that was a decision we made, and I've been so happy with it ever since. His wife is Dr. Don Nolt, a pediatrician at OHSU, and she says she sees more women staying on the job and more dads at home. It's not abnormal for the woman to continue her career. I think the dads sometimes have to justify a lot to their colleagues and their friends that um, their decision to stay at home is the one they wanted to make. and. Um, that they're happy with it. And that appears to be one of the bigger challenges for some of these dads. Uh, a woman asked me, um, oh, she said, you know, oh, you get the baby today. And I said, well, I get the baby every day. I'm a stay-at-home dad. She's like, oh, you work at home then. What do you do? I said, I'm a stay-at-home dad. That's my job. Bottom line, it's what works for these families and their kids. Still want to go see the elephants? Okay, we'll make sure we go by the elephants. Well, the stay-at-home dad group Pretty low key. In fact, they have uh, weekly meetups, whether it's the zoo or a hike, if you'd like some more information. We do have a link to portlanddad.com. It's on our website at katu.com. And this is the decision we've made in our household. My mm -hmm. husband's a fantastic stay-at-home dad, mm -hmm. and I think kind of makes me a better mom for it. And you know it's not an easy job for him no. at all, either. <laughs> no, it's not. A two-year-old and a five-month-old mm -hmm. <laughs> juggling sometimes a lot. Sometimes you have it the best, I think, sometimes. <laughs> Dave Seleski's with us. And now, David, we're